Hey guys, it's Neil and welcome to the second installment of Linux command line video series. In this video, we are going to discuss about some of the basic command line operations. So, let's get started. The first command we are going to learn is PWD which stands for Print Working Directory. So, if you just open up a terminal and type PWD and press enter, it will give you the current directory you are working. Currently, I am in slash home slash nil so it will print out this the next one is a really important one which is ls now what it does it just list contents whatever directory you are in so let me open up my file manager so currently i am in my home directory and what it look like with all of the folders and files <coughs> excuse me if I type ls in the terminal and hit enter it's gonna list all of the contents in the directory in an alphabetical order as you can see those tools are completely identical now ls has many options that you can throw into it but we are gonna focus on frequently used ones. File permissions in Linux is a big deal. Permissions defined who can do what to what file. Suppose I create a file called uh, nil. By the way, the touch command is used to create files under the current directory you are working. Currently, I am in home slash nil as you can see, and here the nil file is been created. Now the nil file belongs to me that means I can read and write it but how do you know this file nil belongs to me we can use the ls command to do that so let's type ls space dash l and hit enter and it will give it tons of information about the contents in that directory you are working so as you can see there is nil and as you can see that it's under the owner nil and the group nil and we have got the following permissions for this specific file we are not going to talk about permissions right now but ls-l list them <clears throat> now uh, let me type ls-r it will list each and every element in the current working directory with a reverse alphabetic order and now suppose uh, if I type ls-a so what it will do it will just print out each and every directory with hidden files and hidden directories in the current directory you are working in Suppose in the graphical user interface if I press Ctrl plus H as you can see that those tools are completely identical. Now let's combine two options or I suppose say two arguments so let's type ls space dash al and hit enter. Now what it will done it will print all of the directories with the hidden ones with long listing formats as you can see type clear in terminal and hit enter and it will clear your terminal screen as I mentioned before ls got a tons of option if you wanna check them out just type man which stand for manual and then ls press enter you can check out the whole manual if you are really interested into ls and to quit the list just press q now let's move into our next command which is cd and it stands for change directory this commands allow us to change working directories Suppose I want to go to my downloads folder, so I just type cd space then the specific folder name. 
which is downloads in my case hit enter and we are in our downloads directory if i type pwd you guys can see i am in my download directory okay so let's get back to the home directory so if the first character after cd is a forward slash like this one that means it's the absolute path from the root directory that means currently i am in my home directory suppose i want to go to the etc directory so i just type cd forward slash etc and then hit enter and then type ls to list all of the contents in the specific directory what if you want to change the directory to relative path then just omit the forward slash suppose i want to go to this specific folder just type cd then gtk and whatever the name is then free and hit enter and currently we are in that specific directory if i type pwd then you guys can see we are in that specific directory so you can change directories by using absolute path and you can change directories using relative paths by omitting the forward slash if you really don't want to remove the forward slash then you can add a period in front of forward slash then it just work as relative path or it will change directory inside whatever directory you are in now if i type cd create and then slash and hit enter and then type pwd you guys can see that i am in the same directory here okay now here is a shortcut if you want to go to your home directory either i can type cd slash home slash my username which is neil and go to my home directory but there is another way which you can apply to go to home directory suppose i go to the same directory again slash hc slash gtk there you go and if i type cd then tilde and hit enter then as you guys can see i am in my home directory by the way tilde is placed on the left of the number one key now let me go to my downloads folder again if i type cd period period forward slash and then hit enter this means one level up that means i am back to my downloads directory or if you just oops if you just hit cd then dot dot that means period period and hit enter then it also means one level up of course in a relative path now this is all fun you know you can go to cd slash user share and hit enter you can can do ls dash l and just go to whatever the directory you want suppose i want to go to the vlc directory vlc and hit enter then again type ls and suppose i forget whatever the directory i'm working with then i can type pwd and here is my directory so so we talk about some of the really basic commands in linux terminal now i know it sometimes get pretty much dull and boring so in the end of the video i want to show you guys something little exciting i suppose say that okay if you go to a terminal and uh, type sudo apt install screen fetch you know and give it your root password then it will download a software called screen fetch and now if you type just screen fetch and hit enter it will just print some of the details of your linux machine and again if you just go and install htop which is a task manager basically you can type htop and voila it look like that i think it's cool 
you can just show off with it okay so i think that's it for that video so i'll gonna meet you guys on the next installment of the linux command line video series thank you for watching the video if you guys like it please subscribe the channel and don't forget to leave a like button and if you guys don't like the video please let me know in the comment section why you didn't like it it's hardcore linux signing off